We've waited way too long to put a rear diff skid on our Forerunner. But it's never too late, right? Right? Tell me it's not too late. In this video, we're going to show you which one we chose and how we put it on. We've been using RCI skid plates for years now, both on our Forerunner and our FJ. So for us, it was an easy choice for the diff skid. It's made out of 3 16 steel and comes in at around 22 pounds. It has an access hole for the drain plug, as well as another drain hole on the other side, so there's no way water will pool in here. And it's low enough in the back to allow access to the fill plug. It's really easy to install. These straps go up over the axle tubes. And this bracket goes up and over the front of the diff by the U-joint. The whole assembly mounts up nice and tight to the diff, so there's minimal loss of ground clearance. What we have here is one for non-KDSS. RCI makes one for KDSS that's slightly different, but looks like it installs in the same manner. Also, their diff skids for Tacomas and FJ Cruisers are very similar and install in basically the same way. I'm going to run through here at the bench how these brackets go on because once we get underneath there, it's going to be a little tougher to see. For the brackets that go up over the diff to hold it on, you want this offset towards the center of the diff. Now the way the bolts go through on the back, you can have them going either down or up. In the front, you have to have the carriage bolt coming up. That way the threads and the nut don't come in contact with the sway bar. This bracket in the front by the yoke, it bolts to the diff on the underside with the bolts coming up through the bottom. Then this bracket goes up over the top and mounted on the back side of this bracket with the bolts going from the front to the back. First thing I'm going to do is take these brackets, put them up over the axle. Then I've got all my bolts lined up here. And then, now the instructions that RCI gives out says to loosen up the sway bar here and swing it out of the way, but I don't think it's necessary. I think that if you come in like this, it will go up behind the sway bar anyways. So you don't have to mess around with taking that sway bar off. And then get some bolts started. Now, like I said before, uh, these bolts have to go up this way in the front on these brackets to avoid the sway bar. It's not really easy with the sway bar in the way, but it is possible. Flat washer goes on, then the split lock washer, and then the nut. Okay, now we can get this bracket on. Remember, it goes on the underside. Okay, it goes up and hooks up over the diff. Just like that. And then carriage bolt up through the bottom. Flat washer, lock washer, and nut on the top. And we're gonna leave all these bolts a little loose for now until we get it all up on there. Oops. Now we can go put this bracket up over the top. Remember it goes on the back side of the bracket we just put on. Like that. And get a bolt through. Okay, now, this whole assembly here, we want that pushed as far rearward as possible on, on here. And then, we can start tightening things up. Okay, one less thing to worry about. One less. 
Now, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And we hope you'll consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks, Thanks for watching. For watching.